Look at this garden all web spider. She is brilliant. And probably about as big as my face is. No, not quite as big as my face. I think probably stretched out from leg to leg, she'd be just a little bit smaller than my hand, as you can see over there. Not dangerous at all to us. In actual fact, she's been doing us a huge favor by catching flies that have been plaguing us the whole morning. Now, this is not the golden orb that we saw yesterday and that I was so happy to see. This is the garden orb last year and this year being one of the spiders that has been able to withstand the pressures of the drought. We saw quite a lot of them last year. Um, I haven't seen that many this year and she is a beautiful specimen. This is about as big as what they get and she's been obviously living here for a large portion of the summer time already. She's in very, very good condition. Her web is in good condition. She just is just a brilliant example of one of these garden orb web spiders. And I know she's a garden orb web spider because of the that scalloped or I suppose toothed margin to the end of her abdomen over there. And the fact that she was sitting in a very particular posture. They grouped their legs together into pairs. So these two, these two, these two, and these two will always be together giving them a crossed appearance. And they always sit in the middle of their orbs and they have a piece of silk that they design in a zigzag fashion. This one that you can see right here called a stabilimentum. It adds a bit of tensile strength to the web but it also acts as a visual cue for birds and probably animals as well walking through the bush to see so that they don't bump into her web and cause her to have to do any maintenance on it. Whew. Wow, the flies.